In my weekly podcast with my friend uh, and colleague, uh, Rabbi Shmuel Konofsky, called The Therapeutic Parish, we were talking about the need for personal space, for having a time out, if you like, a place where a person can go and have a bit of tranquility, a bit of self-reflection, and just time for themselves, times to recharge, if you like. But interestingly, th- there's another idea which I would like to define as boundaries. You know, in life, a person needs to respect other people's boundaries, and hopefully others will respect your boundaries. Um, There's a great analogy, you know, when you have fire and water. Fire and water, of course, are two elements which generally, if you put them together, are not going to go very well. Obviously, the water will extinguish the fire. But in order to be able to get these two elements to work together, you need a boundary. You need a pot. If you put the water inside the pot and the fire underneath the pot, then, of course, we create the magic of cooking, something which, obviously, we all get to enjoy. But you need to respect those boundaries. In our parish this week, the parish of Acharemot, the sons of Aaron, whose sons of Aaron had passed away, and of course, we reflect on their passing. And one of the ideas is that Hashem told them, God said, you cannot come into this sacred space. God said, there's a boundary, and the two of them entered unauthorized. Now, of course, there's lots to dissect and analyze the severity of the punishment and many different other reasons why they were punished. But perhaps one key lesson we can take out of it is that concept of boundaries. Even when the Jewish people had to receive the Torah, Hashem told him, God told him, don't come to the mountains. He set a boundary. And perhaps God was teaching us going forward that in life, in relationships, in any area of life, you need to respect boundaries. You know, sometimes if somebody is too overwhelming, too overbearing, although they may think they are coming with the aspect of kindness, of chesed, ultimately it would be too much. It would be too overwhelming and it could damage and hurt a relationship. So let us always remember in our own lives to create boundaries for ourselves, for our own safety, for our own sanctity, for our own time out, if you like. At the same time, to respect other people's boundaries, to ensure that we work in that, uh, that dual world where, of course, we want to give and be kind and share and to build and strengthen our relationships, but to always remember this key factor of respecting our own boundaries and those of others. Wishing you a Shabbat Shalom and a beautiful weekend ahead.